Board paddlers are on the line there. Runners are getting set and taken down to their uh, finish area. And uh, let's see how we go with this start. So in the middle, not a lot of waves. And uh, these are young kids. They might have been around already in the Iron Man or Iron Woman. So we'll see who's already tested the conditions. So you can see from our SunSmart drone can, you can see reasonably easy even start. But it looks like one of the Trig Island teams are getting out nicely through the first of the breaks. So the mixed Cameron relay, the final, straight through to the final. Big wave comes through there and gives everyone a little bit of a, a, a bash around. All about uh, surf technique for these young guys. Don't necessarily generate the power as they head out through the through the waves. Important to uh, get through in one piece, stay upright, stay on the board, get through, and then get out onto the slightly calmer water and get themselves back in through that through that wave zone. This is the mixed Cameron relay as part of the SunSmart WA Surf League. So you can see these board paddlers as they're making their way out. Even though the waves aren't big, just that little chop and a lot of these competitors being a little bit smaller, as the nose goes over, the wind catches it and can sometimes flip them over. Most of the field's out, few more to get through this bank, but uh, those competitors in the lead, just going around that first yellow can, uh, or sorry, they've got to go out through the second can. Uh, there's still a fair bit of work to do, but as I said, this wind's increasing and it's really challenging these younger competitors, which is good because they'll learn from every race they go in. So just a reminder, the board paddlers are up first and then they'll get met by a runner who will do the run course and hand over to the swimmer who at the end of theirs, hand over to the runner. So two chances for runners here. Uh, and as I said, it's two males and two females from each team. And it's up to clubs to manage where their strengths are uh, and whether they put a male or female in. But uh, all out now in the board. And uh, this field's pretty well spread out with the first two or three competitors out there. Uh, probably about a boy length lead. So we're probably talking about 40, 50 metres. They'll get the first of their run, and their swimmers are going to have clean water uh, to really just finish off this youth Cameron. So, true. just watching on our beautiful overhead shots from uh, the drone, you can see uh, those two youth competitors have gone through. So, Trig Island well represented there, as always. And as you picked, look for Trig to push through, as they always do in the team events. So... Great shots from overhead. You can see the two young guys are now into the wave zone with a, a pretty significant lead. And they make their way back in now through the wave zone. So all looking for a run now. Yeah, and so that looks like it might be Jules Friedney there in the lead. Uh, just pulling onto this little tiny run. He didn't have the best board paddle. So no really wants to make amends to that. Joined by Mullaloo there. Now, the trick here is going to be when does the board paddler hand over to the runner? Does the runner go deep? Do they stay nice and shallow? It really does make a big difference. And you'll see these guys will hit the beach neck and neck. It'll come down to where that runner's tagged and how they hand over to their swimmer. But City of Perth and Mullaloo, first and second there. Soon to hand over to a run. Really close racing for the youth Cameron. Sure is, and the uh, drone cam, the overhead shot, looks fantastic up here, Grant True, as the uh, tag is made. So the uh, tag is made, so Mullaloo scream through. City of Perth right there as well. So a couple of the runners there, the fast runners, True, they hand over a couple of the sprinters, and we're going to the swim now. Very exciting, and looks un looks absolutely beautiful here at Secret Harbour from the overhead shot. Trig Island in shot now, make their way around to the cam. We look for Trig to be very strong in these events. Lots of fun for the juniors, hey, Truy, in this particular event today. Yeah, absolutely. And the swimmers going out, you probably can't see it on the footage, but Mullaloo stayed to the left and gone pretty much straight out. City of Perth is headed far right. And I think there's actually a bit of a rip there just off to the right. So these conditions with these wind and the swells move around all the time. It's sometimes a bit of a gamble. As a swimmer or a board paddler, You've got to just have uh, faith in your own decision. Make a decision is really important, and then just back yourself all the way in. It's still neck and neck. City might have the better line. Just going to have to see how far Mullaloo need to come back up 
at that last turn. But just about everyone's in. Two more to go, and that final run might make a big difference today. So very exciting. So just waiting on the uh, final couple of guys to hand over and head out into the water. <laughs> really, really tough conditions, isn't it, for, the, for these young guys, but they love it. Lots of fun, lots of adventure, lots of excitement out there. As a cot handover, go out into the water. A lot, of the, a lot of the competitors talked about how tough it is, but how enjoyable it is. It's a real adventure out there in the water today. Scarborough handover now, and they head out into the water. Yeah, and so look, as I said, this drift and wind playing a big, um, a big part here. Mullaloo, I think, might have got a really good line there, and they've come straight out on their can. So that, that little gambles pay dividend for them. I think it's uh, Trig Island and uh, City of Perth, maybe up into second and third on the far right there. They're going to hit this can all at once. You know what? We've got senior competitors down here getting ready for the senior uh, teams race. They're watching what's going on with this drift and working out what their plans are. So ne ne neck and neck, and we've seen this swirl and the chop play a big part all day. Best swimmer with the best surf skills is going to take this out today. All converging on the main can and now Truy. So the, the uh, swimmers are out. I reckon uh, Trig Islands, I think it's Jarvis Karen. He is a gun, isn't he? And I think he's pushed through there. So really good to watch. Really exciting uh, viewing today. We're looking from the drone can for people watching at home, the SunSmart drone can. And uh, great vision that we've got all day from our, out there on the water from our drone. And uh, some good, strong swimming. That, as we've seen before, Truy, often the good, strong swimmer gets a little bit of a lead at this point. We saw this happen to Soraya Lee in the open women's swimmer and then just got overhauled as a wave came through in the wave zone. But uh, I guess if you are a strong swimmer out in front, there's no other way. you just got to try and go as hard as you can. Yeah, absolutely. So Triggs just comes straight through the field into first. He'll get first crack at the waves there. And uh, we see him just heading a bit to the left still, just trying to uh, alleviate any chance of drifting too far away. So Trig Island, Mullaloo, City of Perth, and I think that might be North Cot into fourth there and fifth. So some good racing there. And uh, look, that looks so peaceful and quite quite uh, pleasant out there from the uh, camera. But I can tell you, down the beach, it's nasty, tough racing. And these young competitors are doing a fantastic job. First lot of waves coming up into the surf zone. Just have a look at them as they put their head just under their arm, just to see what's coming to see if they need to kick, pick the rating up, not quite dropping. This next one might break, but uh, look at this stage, it could be that a wave comes from the back and the uh, we've got a four party race again for the finish. So I said before it might come down to the run. If these uh, competitors in second, third and fourth get a wave, it's game on for that last run. Yeah, so exciting conclusion and we can see the swimmers now coming into the chop. It's really Picked up this wind, hasn't it, Truy? For those people watching at home, we started off the day 20 kilometre hour winds. It's picked up now, it's about 30. Over to you, Truy. Yeah, look, we've got a big wave come through. Trig Island just stood up. I don't think anyone's held that. And so it uh, looks like he might be able to just uh, kick onto that last one, get a little bit of assistance, head down. I reckon that's that race wrapped up. You know where the battle's going to come? Second, third, fourth and fifth. So look at these runners getting their legs ready, Trig Island have got plenty of time to spare. But the other four teams, it's going to be a great finish. Hopefully we can get it uh, called from down on the beach. It's going to be neck and neck. And you watch these runners sprint like nothing else. This is their chance for glory. Yeah, here goes Trig Island. But as you say, the race is on for second. Trig Island will win this today. Big cheer from all the team members. Under the banner goes Trig Island. Here we go, race on for second, boys and girls. Northcott up strongly in the white cap. That is a fantastic finish from her. Look at her go. City of Perth comes in in third. Ripper finish from the Northcott, a slow runner. That is an absolute beauty. Well done, City of Perth. And the crowd love this tree down here on the beach. You can hear it in our effects, Mike. You can hear the wind, but you can also hear how much the crowd enjoys seeing it. Let's bring them in, folks. These are picking up points for your teams. Bring them all in. Well done, everyone. Yeah, second last event of the day, and uh, the crowd is getting behind them. Uh, the crowd's probably swelled, and I know they want to watch these young kids, but I think they're really down here to watch some of these senior superstars that have gone around the course three or four times already today. Uh, back it up for the uh, last senior team event of the day. But great win there for Trig, and that last little wave.
could have gone uh, horribly wrong, but he's uh, pulled it up and kept his head down. Done really well for a win in the uh, Youth Cameron.